This is CNBC's live blog covering Asia-Pacific markets. Asia-Pacific markets were all lower on Friday, tracking Wall Street's losses overnight and giving up gains from the previous day. Traders will also be watching chip stocks, after Taiwanese chip giant Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corp beat first quarter revenue and profit expectations on Thursday. Japan released March inflation data, with the headline inflation rate coming in at 2.7%, down from the 2.8% seen in February. The core inflation rate, which strips out fresh food prices, stood at 2.6%, in line with expectations from economists polled by Reuters. Japan's benchmark Nikkei 225 was down 1.88% after the inflation reading, while the broad-based Topix fell 1.3%. South Korea's Kospi was 1.8% lower after leading gains in Asia on Thursday, while the small-cap Kosdaq dropped 1.34% in Australia. The S&P, ASX 200 was nearly 1% lower. Futures for Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index stood at 16,355, pointing to a weaker open compared to the HSI's close of 16,385.87. Overnight on Wall Street, all three major indexes ended mixed, with the S&P 500 posting five straight days of losses, its longest losing streak since last October. The broad index lost 0.22%, while the Nasdaq Composite dropped 0.52%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average added 0.06%, closing just above its flatline for 2024. CNBC's Brian Evans and Alex Herring contributed to this report. A growing population, strong consumption levels and a pickup in manufacturing activity have propelled India's economy in the last year, and market watchers are actively seeking out opportunities in the South Asian powerhouse. India's stock market too, has been booming, pushing economists to say its market capitalization could hit $60 trillion in the next two decades. It comes as India's mammoth election, with about 970 million registered voters, gets underway, running between April 19 and June 1. We ask the pros to name sectors, and stocks, in the country to play right now. CNBC Pro subscribers can read more here. Amala Balakrishnar 6 stocks in the S&P 500 rise often whenever Nvidia shares fall, according to a CNBC Pro analysis. CNBC Pro screened for stocks in the S&P 500 that are inversely correlated to Nvidia's over a month and year period after the stock fell into correction territory for the second time this month. CNBC Pro subscribers can read more about the 6 stocks here. The recent stock sell-off has led to a rise in some oversold signals, according to Chris Verone, Stratagas head of technical and macro research. Around 30% is currently trading above its 50-day moving average, close to the 20% range, worth targeting in uptrends, he wrote in a Thursday note. Yesterday's pop in put, call ratios plus the recent increase in, short, S&P ETF volumes have caught our eye as price action begins to affect behavior, Barone said. To be sure, market leadership is ultimately more important, he noted.